Hello, welcome. We are going to do a build challenge today. It's going to be so much fun. But it was actually motivated by Lego announcing that they're going to attempt to remove gender bias from their toys, which is, you know, I mean, it's a societal problem. It's toys contribute to, you know, they want to make money, so they contribute to what they think society wants. And Lego, it looks like Lego's going to kick back against that. So I'm excited by this idea. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I do truly believe that Lego Friends is important and got girls to build, but now girls are building we need to keep them building and it needs to be totally acceptable for boys to embrace these themes as well. Lead the way Lego, Let, let's see what you got. So that made me think, do I have the pieces to actually make an opposites stereotype build, like an anti-stereotype, it's not really anti-stereotype because I'm going to put all the stereotypes in there, but I'm going to do them in opposites. So using pink for the boys side of the build and blue for for the girl side of the build. And, you know, let's take the most stereotypical place. I mean, they have gender reveal parties with pink and blue. Let's opposite it for babies. Let's see, because we have got babies. We got Lego babies. Lego has released babies in yellow and in green. Actually, green was, well, not the first color, but the first color in Lego Friends. And there's also a Harry Potter baby too in like a sand blue color, or gray blue. And the very first one was this little one in brown. So no stereotypical pink or blue babies in the Lego line. But don't worry about that. I have already painted some babies for my own purposes in pink and blue. <laughs> so, hello, I just embraced the stereotypes and now we're gonna use them, but we are going to opposite them. So we got a little pink boy and we've got a little blue girl. Right, so if we've got babies, we're gonna need someone to care for them. So if we're oppositing, oppositing, that even feels like a weird word now, we'd be choosing a dad to be caring for the, for the babies, doing the maternity leave for the babies. But do you think I could find a single pink mini doll body part in all of the male mini dolls that I have? Nah, -uh, there is not one. So I'm like, I'm quite saddened by that. I wanna see this rectified in the future. The only thing that even comes close, I mean, there's purple sleeves on Ethan's torso there. That's it, that's all we've got. So cannot use a dad. I mean, well, we could use just pink hair, but there's not even any, where's the hair? This is the male hair, my, my collection of male hair pieces. Uh, not a pink one inside. We got green, we got all the normal hair colors. We've got, oh, the silver one, yeah. <laughs> but we can't use these. They're not pink. And we would have to make the dad pink because, oh, that's pink. No, hold on. That is not, that, that's, that's, that's not a hair piece. That's just a sticky thing that's stuck on this box. So if I can't make a pink dad and the mum is obviously doing whatever profession she dang well pleases while having flexible work hours uh, to spend time with her family and being paid an equal amount as the men in the same job because we're playing opposites to current society, let's make a girl babysitter, but she's going to be a mix of blue and pink, which gives me the opportunity to use one of my favorite hair pieces of all time. So she's going to be mixed. So we got blue, pink, and the hair let's find let's just find some yeah pink skirt uh and for her torso stephanie's one that came with the with the with the new with the new magical fun fair sets i mean that's kind of, it's silver but it's a silvery blue and it's pink on one side and silvery blue on the other side so it's perfect and for the face i chose the one with the most pink on it that i could find and blue eyes this is susan's face and the reason she looks like that, I mean, that expression's perfect. She's got such a daunting task ahead of her. She's looking after twins and they're not even stereotyped properly. It's gonna be so confusing for her. And just for funsies, let's add another child, a girl all in blue, little girl. So we're gonna have two girls in blue, blue eyes, blue dress, and we do have blue stereotypical pigtail hair pieces. Now I want to tell you, like, let me be clear. I think girls should be allowed to embrace traditionally girly pastimes as long as, as long as society isn't telling them that that's all that they can be. Right. So now that that's clear, cause I love all the cute and I love all of this girly stuff. I just adore it, but I like other things too. So, you know, my choice. Right. So we have got, okay. So Patrick in pink, Bonnie, the baby and Beatrice for the little girl. Am I gonna remember those in two minutes? Probably not, so you can remind me. Shout at me in the comments when I forget them, because you know I will, and I know you will. Right, so pink and blue plates for building on. I'm gonna hold them together with this blue piece, but this is gonna be like the mixed area in the middle. So I'm going to use some blue cupboardy bits, but put pink drawers in them. 
like mixed area in the middle where, where it all melanges together. So yeah, so what can we use this bit for? So I mean, obviously this is gonna be nursery with, with bedrooms for, for all of these children, <laughs> all of these, these opposite stereotype children. So we're gonna use blue on the top here, pink on this side, cause this is the pink side. And then a, uh, yeah, a little stack of pink nappies from this side. So this will be the change table. And then we can put a blue teddy bear on the girl side. Nice. Let's just make sure there's enough room here as a change table. It's not very safe. I mean, there's no guardrails or anything on the sides, but that's okay. It's fine. So now Beatrice is going to get a bed first. A bed for Beatrice. And I'm going to throw as many stereotypes in here as I can, but I'm going to reverse the colors. So uh, a bed. I mean, beds are nice and easy. You can't really stereotype a bed until you get to the decorations. So just the blue is now our opposite stereotype. Let's put this on. Oh, pie by the way, were you aware? This was just a fun fact. Pink wasn't originally for girls and blue wasn't originally for boys. Like this became a thing in the tw like early, 20th, early 20th century and right back at the beginning when, when the media made this a thing, pink was supposed to be for boys as it was considered a stronger color and blue was supposed to be for girls because it was more dainty and delicate. So there you go. You know, we are so very much bled by the media we consume. Okay, so we have got a beautiful blue bed for Beatrice. It's pretty plain at the moment, but don't worry. We're going to embellish this as pretty as we can. Maybe not the actual bed. Maybe we'll just make the decorations around the room as stereotypically girly as we can, but in blue. And I wonder if I have the Lego uh, parts to do that. So now let's make a crib in blue for Bonnie. And I'm pretty sure I can I can do this because yeah we got plenty of these pieces that I need yeah Lego has yeah there are lots of shades of blue in Lego and lots of different shape pieces now we've got the blue grills that I can use as the side the slatted sides for the crib so that's good I wonder if I can do the same for the hmm, all right I'll worry I'll worry about things as I go along so okay nice nice we've got a crib for Bonnie. Is that the right name? Yes, yes it was, hooray, <laughs> yay for me. I'd be a great babysitter, I've forgotten the kids' names in <laughs> the first couple of minutes. Okay, poor old Beatrice keeps falling over, she's so top heavy. We're going to put this, yeah, this bed over here. So let's put some back wall on here and yeah, just line it with blue and then put, we do have blue windows, so we'll use this here, I think, and we'll put the bed central to that. Yeah, that bed there. And then we can fit the cot in over here. They have to share a room, which is pretty typical. That's what happens when you, you know, both the same gender and there's not enough room space. So, okay, so I'll line the sides with some, yeah, blue cylinders because I want the center focal piece of this to be these blue fairy wings or blue butterfly wings. I mean, so perfect, right? So these are going to, oh, they're so pretty above the bed. Such a lovely, yeah, lovely wall ornament. Wall, wall ornament, a wall ornament, a wall ornament. It's a wall ornament. It's beautiful. I love the new wall ornament. Uh, now, how are we going to hold that in place? Let's put some kind of like glass curtainy things on either side of the bed. Uh, there we go. That looks lovely. Okay, okay. Another, yeah, we, I want to build this bit up here here just to be the same height and then for more ornamentation but for a girl's room let's use these I'm just looking for stuff that's in blue that would also work for a girl stereotype my goodness there's a prize if you can if you can count how many times I've said stereotype in this video there is no prize so don't count you're gonna it's gonna break your brain it's gonna be very boring counting all of those. So stacking these up, alternating them. That looks lovely, that looks so good. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I've already pre put these on because directionally challenged, I didn't want to do this twice and get it wrong. So that's good. And then maybe, you know, yeah, different color here. Yep, yeah, do that. And then the, that, that's good. Cause that way it's kind of the dark blue around the outside. Another window for the top and we're gonna just it's just going to be precariously holding those butterfly wings in place. It's not really holding them in place, but it's kind of holding them in place. Now, around here, I love these glass pieces. This nice big quick wall. Yeah, nice wall. We're walling it. The wall is going in super fast. More wall here. And this is where the crib's going to go. So the crib can also have like a headpiece uh, decoration to a wall decoration. So what can we do? What can we build? 
Uh, what do we have? We've got blue leaves. We actually don't have any leaves in pink yet. We do have leaves in blue. We do have, oh, we've got foliage in pink, but we don't have pink leaves. So I'm sure it'll come eventually, but <laughs> blue leaves we have. So this is going to be really, really pretty. Yeah, that's going to be lovely. I really like that. <laughs> so we need to build this wall up to around about, yeah, I think that's going to be the right height. That way it won't impinge on the actual crib. So if we put this in and then we put our wall decoration on, look at that, it's so nice. So, okay, well, let's just finish building up our wall here and then we'll see what else we have space for in here. Oh my gosh, these are so askew. Let's take that off. Use the power of the table to straighten them up a, a bit and then hold them together along the top with small bricks and that's looking really good. Oh, let's put some arches over this arches. Oh, look, just put an arch, couple of pieces to make an arch over the bed. That's, that is incredibly pretty. <laughs> it's even in blue. So in this corner, I have got this blue round tile with a pinky purple heart pillow on it, which is just too perfect for this, <laughs> this build. So we're going to use that as a seat that you can sit on when you're looking after the baby in the corner now. What else can we fit in here? Okay, over next to the bed, of course we need a costume and what would be better than a blue unicorn? I mean, unicorns are generally embraced by, by girls. Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to want a display for this. Uh, yeah, I do have, oh, we do have blue little rods. That's good. So we need one of these and we need a cylinder to stick it on and then another one on the top. And then we put that on and don't push it down too far because otherwise I can't put it on a stud because <laughs> it's poking into that spot. Oh, actually, we could just put it between the studs. That might actually space it better. That's good. Look at that. There are so many things that are, and I'm doing inverted commas, stereotypically girly in blue available in Lego. So good. Now we're heading into the pink space, but we still have a big bit of wall here behind the dressing table. So I'm going to use a blue window there and next to it, we're heading into the pink with a pink window. Look at that. Okay, pink side. Oh, actually, no, not pink side yet. I've got one more toy to build for the blue side. Let's make a rocking horse because we've got the perfect tiny blue horse. Thank you, Elsa. We could put it on here. That's not going to work. But if we actually just put a clip on here, no, that's not the right spot. We need to put it over here. And even though that doesn't look as though it's equal, it will work out because we put this on there and it still doesn't look centered, but the horse is actually a little bit front heavy when we put it on here. So it actually centers itself so nicely. So let's get Bonnie on this to give it a go. Actually, I don't know where the rocking horses go with the girl. They don't really stick with a gender, which is nice. <gasps> Nobody's claimed the rocking horse. I like it. Actually, that's so big in there. I don't know that's going to fit in the build, but We'll just move it out of the way for now. It's going to be an extra part. I love it. Look at that. Okay, pink. Pink for Patrick. Let's see what we're going to do. So I wanted to make a cot that just was the same as this, but I don't have any of those grill pieces in pink. They don't, I don't think they come in pink. I certainly don't have any. So we're going to make him a plain bed because what is more stereotypical, apart from maybe a fire engine bed, but I don't definitely don't have those sort of parts in pink. Pink is not uh, you know, a, more, a, a terribly common color in Lego. We got a lot more choices with blue than we do actually with pink. Speaking of blue choices, even Disney princesses get choices of blue. Like look at Aurora. She gets the choice between pink and blue dresses. But do any, like what do boys, superheroes, do any of the male superheroes get pink? They don't. Look, the poor boys. <sighs> the boys are missing out. They are missing out. Pink is awesome. Give them more pink. Give them all the pink. No, share the pink. We'll just share the pink. Everybody gets the pink. I think that's fair. You get the pink and you get the pink. We all get the pink. Pink is for everybody and blue and all the colors and all of the themes. Just, just share them all. It's ridiculous. Okay, now <laughs> I got distracted. Patrick is now in his new plane bed with his pink plush puppy. That was really hard to say, so I had to slow it down. There is actually a teddy bear in pink with little stripes across its belly too, and actually there are a couple of pink teddy bears, so I could have given them matching teddy bears, but I wanted to 
to mix it up a little bit. So pink and blue teddy bears in Lego, that's nice. Now, on the wall, I want a few decorations that work for boys stereotypically also but they've, they've got to have pink on them so we've got a little pink monster the bottom one is from the is from the video theme and a little pink I don't even know whether that's a raccoon or not but they're cute so they work for for, for babies as well as this book uh, the, the pink book options were, uh, were a bit tricky so <laughs> these were the stickers that I have on yeah on on the pink books these are not going to fly i think on the boys side as we currently stand maybe the scary stories but this is for a baby so we're not going to be using the pink game controller or there's a pink batman hood uh but you know maybe when patrick gets a bit older we could put them in his room but at the moment we're looking for, for stuff for, 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 for a baby so let's put this in here in front of yeah in front of the window look at that he's got his own little plain crib <laughs> that is so not practical. <laughs> We're not here to be practical though. And building up the wall, let's put a shelf on here for some of his stuff. Uh, so what else is randomly pink? He could have a pink uh, figurine. That could be a pink, that pink superhero <laughs> that doesn't exist. And a pink, uh, one of those those toy things with the, with the little beads that go from side to side on it. The rain, 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 rain stick kind of things. I said rain a lot of times. <laughs> we got there. I got there in the end. Uh, working around the corner, more nice glass pink walls because I just like them so much. And in the corner is room for a lamp. So something that kind of goes with anything. We've got a nice pink cotton candy. Yeah, lampshade. So let's put that on there. That's so nice. I really like that. I mean, that could work for anybody, for any gender. That one didn't get into a stereotype corner, which is nice. <laughs> Anyone can claim that. And in here, oh, this will be fun. Let's make a really a, a decoration out of this. So we could use some pink seaweed as the dangly legs. I mean, this is the sort of thing that's likely to give you nightmares. <laughs> we'll put it in his room anyway. And I don't have a pink connector, so I'm going to use a blue one. But that's only a little bit of a cheat because you're not going to notice that that's there. And we're using blue on the other side. So if I use a stud with a hole in it, I can actually... I can actually put this in the corner as a big direction. I cannot put these in between the studs just by itself. So if I put it on to that, then I can put it in and then I can take the top bit off and look, I've still given up trying to put them in by myself. So look now, <laughs> a therapy inducing monster fun thing in the corner. <laughs> That's creepy. It's creepy cute. And on the top of this bit of wall, we're going to have a pink bucket and in it, we need another pink toy thing. So we've got one of these balloon animals, which also come in blue and doesn't want to go in there. And also green is a green. Am I right? But that doesn't work for our build. But, but I like the fact that we've got balloon animals in a variety of colors and on the floor are some Lego building blocks, which were predominantly a boy's toy until Lego friends and the mini doll opened up the girl interest was so, so important. Okay. So now you have to share your bricks with us, guys. Ha! And in the corner, small bricks. So right, that's where we put them away. Up the top, let's connect all this up, fill in the gaps. Oh, oh, I've got this mat from a, an Olivia set with a blue cog on it, but it's in pink. Works nicely towards stereotypes. And yet it was made for a girl's toy. And on top of the window, I want to just put a little bit of a curtainy kind of thing because it's just looking a bit stark. I just made this by putting a sticker on here that I thought it's in pink, but it still works, works nicely for a boy. Right. Okay. So what else can we put in here? Oh, those windows look kind of bare. They need some dressing. So we have got flags in a variety of blues. So let's put some flags together to make a curtain above the blue side and then same kind of thing for the pinks but with two different shades of pink we're going to put a blue rod through there because i don't have a little short pink one like that so we'll just you know pretend that it's no it's fine it's going all the way through it's good <laughs> okay now all right i think we're probably at that point now where we should fill in all these gaps along the top make sure that that everything's connected together to make an actual functional Lego build so it doesn't fall apart as soon as I pick it up and then smooth over the top with pink on this side and then blue on this side. <laughs> Look at that! 
it. Oh, okay, all right. Let's put these babies back in the arms of their poor beleaguered babysitter. <laughs> Look at that. Lucky she's got two arms. Oh, I always wonder, <laughs> always wonder how you manage to have more children than you have arms to hold their hands off. Uh, okay, so I think we can actually put something here in this shared area. I think that Beatrice can have a train track no I can't have train tracks so this could be this could be a little remote control car set or even just a little a little car track a little city she's making a little road down here so we got blue going across into the pink and maybe we need a connectory bit in the middle look at that and because I don't have a roller skate in pink I've only got one in blue so this is going to be bridging the, the, the middle of the gap and putting pink on the top so it's both colors but in the blue side going to have a strictly blue car perfect <laughs> there is actually a pink roller skate but I don't own it it only belongs to the diner minifigure from a CMF series so I don't have those and we got a little pink house there in the corner and I think I think we have to be officially done because if I try and fit anything more into here, it's going to look ridiculously cluttered. And that is so not me at all. It's not, it, it totally is. <laughs> you guys know that. Okay, so we have done an opposite stereotype build. It worked out surprisingly well, a little bit scarily well. <laughs> okay, now is the time to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the build is and I will be back with another video very soon so check back in i'll see you then <laughs> bye